Hi there and welcome to this IBM Cloud Foundation Skills Series video and in this video we're going to be talking about tags. Now tags are a fairly new uh, thing to come to the IBM Cloud. Uh, in fact they're only actually available in the, the new Cloud Console um, which has been around since uh, November 2018 uh, which is at cloud.ibm.com so if you're using other versions of the console then you, you won't actually see tags there but in any case I recommend that you start to use cloud.ibm.com uh, because um, that's the uh, the latest version and that's the version that IBM will also be continuing to develop over the coming months and years. So basically tags are a way to actually label your resources so you can uh, see at a glance what they are uh, and it's also a way that uh, you can filter them in, uh, in the resource view uh, and you can also search on tags as well uh, to, to find resources. So, uh, so let's go and have a look at uh, tags in the, uh, in the console. Right, so here I am in my dashboard, so I'm at cloud.ibm.com and uh, if this looks a, a little bit different to, uh, to, to what you've seen in the past, um, then the thing that I'm really interested in is this, is this tile here, which is my resource summary. So uh, you can see here there's a, there's, a, there's a quick list here of the different types of resources I've got and the numbers of services that, uh, that um, I've actually uh, provisioned. So um, if I click on here and click view all, uh, then you can get a, a, a more detailed list. And uh, so basically, if you uh, if you click on the various twisties, you can then see the uh, uh, the different services that I've, I've actually uh, created under there. Okay, so um, so let's start to look at tags. You'll notice along here um, there's uh, there's various headings, and one of them here is tags. So uh, so at the moment I don't actually have any tags set up on this account. Um, so um, so let's let's start adding some. So these are my devices. So these are some virtual machines. So to, to add a tag, all I need to do is click Add Tags there, and uh, then I can put a tag in there. So you can see there's a, there's a few tags that I have already used. So I'm going to call this. Uh, so this is uh, uh, I did a demo with this. So I'm going to get, it's, it's, I'm going to call it James, so I know that it's me, and I'm going to uh, put in demo demo server. So I can then save that. And uh, similarly, I can uh, I can put in some other names here, so I know that a colleague of mine created this one. So I'm going to uh, just save that one, uh, just so that I know who these belong to. And uh, this is my uh, Kubernetes server, so I can uh, just tag those as well. So I'm just going to add the cube server to these, uh, just so that I know what they are. So basically, as you can see, um, I'm going through, I'm adding tags, um, and it just helps me at a glance, see what these uh, see what these servers are, and uh, eventually it will help me find them as well. So, um, so I can actually tag um, tag anything that I like. So um, let's have another example. So let's go down to storage. Um, so, so again, I know this belongs to uh, I know this belongs to a colleague of mine. So I'm going to put in uh, Johnny. So I'm going to save that. Uh, this one belongs to a colleague of mine called Steve, so I'm going to put Steve in, there we go. and uh, this one I know is mine, and it's also from a demo I was doing, so, so I'm going to uh, put that in there as James, and I'm going to say demo, uh, storage, there we go, and save, and, and, and so on, so you, so you, so you basically get the, uh, get, get the general idea. Okay, okay. So, uh, so, so, so from here now, I can I can start to do some filtering. So you can see all the different tags that I've got here now. So, for instance, I just want to filter the things that belong to James, and I can do that. And uh, as you see, my device list is now only one server. And down in storage, you can see my storage as well. So, uh, so you can see that's also uh, uh, so you can see that's 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 my storage. So if I look at that tag, you can see James is in there. Uh, if I, uh, I can take those filters off, and um, I can then let's say, well, where, where are my cube servers? So again, I can I can uh, quickly do that with the tags. So, so basically, you're just using these drop-down lists. So if I want to know my my servers, and I want to know the ones which I've been using, uh, which I've been using for demos, so I can use a demo server. I can do demo storage as well. So uh, so there you go. You can see that I've, I've got those two those two items there. So it's it's, uh, it's, it's dead simple. So let's just take those filters off. The other thing I can do is actually search in this toolbar here as well. So, um, so for instance, if I want to um, search for something on a tag, first thing I do is type in tag, 
and then colon, and then I can put in the uh, the, 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 the the tag name. So so James. So you can see that I've got this uh, this server here, uh, which is um, which has got the tag James in it. So it's looking at that tag. So I can then go along and uh, look at that server. And there we go. There's the server details. So that's pretty much it for tags. They're uh, simple to use, uh, but they can be quite powerful, especially when you're trying to find your resources uh, when you have a, a, a really long list. Uh, my uh, my recommendation would be that you uh, you think about how what tags that you use, um, so that uh, and you're consistent with them, so you can find things easily. So you know you might want to tag things with people's names or department names, or maybe project names, uh, or the, the the types of uh, the types of resource that they are, for instance. Um, and uh, and sort of stick stick with a with a convention. Um, if you're not the um, the account owner, then you will need some permissions to actually add tags to things. So uh, so for instance, you'll need at least developer on the space in Cloud Foundry. Um, you'll need to be editor in the resource group under IAM. Um, if you're if you're using classic infrastructure such as virtual machines or bare metal servers etc., uh, then you need the uh, the view hardware details, view virtual server details, and the storage manager permissions. Uh, and um, of course, you can always go and have a look at the documentation too. So details are at uh, this particular address um, shown on the screen just here. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, it's been fairly uh, fairly quick, but hopefully it's been a good introduction to tags. And um, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, then feel free to, uh, to, to leave one with the video. Um, if not, then I'll see you next time.